Now by Storm Team 2 meteorologist Jamie Jerosic for another look at the forecast. I know you said the word rain earlier. Yep. Oh, oh that rain. It's coming. <laughs> uh, but the drive to work and if you have lunch plans dry, it's not until you're coming home from work or your evening plans that will be impacted. And we're going to time that out for you with your day cast. Right now we just have some clouds moving through the Miami Valley. We're right at 34 in Dayton, but a lot of spots are below freezing this morning. At noon we'll be climbing into the low 40s and then our 3 o'clock temperature 46 with thickening clouds. And then by 5 o'clock some showers will be moving into especially the southern portion of the Miami Valley. They will grab Gradually lift north throughout much of the area as we head through the evening hours. Temperatures will be dropping back down near 44 for that commute home. This morning we're dry, but we're cloudy. We've got all those high clouds moving in, and in spots these will be thin, but overall we're going to see a lot of them through the day. They're already here in advance of this storm system off to our southwest. That high pressure area shifting east of us, so a southerly flow is developing. And this low will continue to track our way today, eventually bringing in that rain, but not until late. As we head into our overnight hours, rain becomes pretty likely, especially in the southern half of the Miami Valley. We've got an 80% chance running from Richmond through Troy and Urbana, and then points south from there. There's a small area here, Greenville, Sydney, Urbana, where there's a 40% chance of showers. And on the northern edge of things, you might not see much up towards Salina, Wapakoneta, maybe a 10 to 20% chance at best. Far northern Mercer County likely staying completely dry, even through the overnight hours. It's 34 right now, south breeze at 9. That gives us a wind chill of 27. So it is a cold morning. And some spots are even in the 20s. It's 28 out in Oxford, Troy, and also 28 in Bell Fountain. Here's a check of future track, which shows clouds at times through the area today. We're going to see mostly cloudy conditions by the time we get to the drive home at 5. Notice rain spreading into the far southern counties, lifting north as we head into our evening and overnight hours. So 10 o'clock tonight. High chance of rain for the central and southern counties. North and west, not much activity. And then all of that will move out shortly after midnight. So we're back to dry weather Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon looks dry too. It actually looks like a really nice weekend with a mix of sun and clouds and slightly warmer temperatures. Today will not be too bad temperature wise, up to 46. Partly sunny to mostly cloudy with a shower across the southern counties late. Showers are likely this evening and into the overnight. They will end shortly after midnight. We'll drop to 32 after that. And then tomorrow is partly sunny, nice and cool with a high near 50 degrees. On Sunday, we'll be just a touch cooler at 48, but still dry. And then Monday, back into the low 50s, but we've got the chance of rain in the forecast again in your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. After Monday's system comes through, it's going to be windy and turning colder on Tuesday with highs in the low 40s and will stay chilly through the middle part of next week.